Good afternoon guys. I am back again to waffle aimlessly at you at the camera. Sometimes I find it difficult to come up for subjects for these and I just literally push the button and start talking. Um, it's probably been evident in the last couple of weeks. But one of the things I was kind of, I was actually speaking to a doctor friend of mine in the last few weeks and one of the things we talked about was like how much benefit there is actually from healthy eating and exercise that people either disregard or don't care about and someone else once said this very well a guy called Dr. Spencer Nadolsky which is a very intelligent guy and worth checking up if you were ever interested in hearing a bit more of his stuff he he's an actual doctor the hint is in the name uh, he's a general practitioner as far as I'm aware but he is a very fit individual and in his own words and I'm paraphrasing these so hopefully I get them correct he said there is no single treatment on earth which has as few side effects and as many benefits as exercise and good nutrition. And it's very difficult to argue that. There are very, very, very few bad side effects from well-structured exercise, from a good, healthy diet. Just about every ailment you can possibly think of can be addressed in some manner by a healthier diet or a healthier lifestyle. Every pill you take has a side effect. Don't get that wrong. And modern days, it seems to be the thing. I have high blood pressure, well, I'm just going to take a pill for that. I have pain, I'm just going to take a pill for that. I have some other difference, I'm just going to take a pill for that. A lot of the time, you could alter your diet and have no need for that medication. Would that not be a preferable approach? And the amount of times you hear people all of a sudden they have a problem and it's like, mm, let's just get surgery. You have a knee problem. There's often problems you might have a knee problem and you need surgery. There's no disputing that. But there's a lot of cases where if there was less weight on that knee, it would be less painful. If you could move a little better, it would be less stress on the knee. There's very few situations where it is not going to be an advantage to have some kind of health approach, healthy approach towards that, like whether it's moving better, whether it's eating better. The weight you carry is the weight you carry everywhere. So many people underestimate that. I've had many people come into the gym and after a few months they might have lost 10 or 15 kilos and you literally give them the weight and it's like imagine, imagine you are walking around with that every day and they find it difficult to carry it in their hands from wind into the gym to the other. Because 15 kilos is quite a chunk. Now, de obviously it depends on your level and what you're used to carrying. Like, But when you're considering that every movement and every part of your day, you are limiting yourself by carrying a bit of extra weight or your energy level is not optimal because you might be eating a lot of sugar. And one of the other things I was going to talk about this week, but I'll probably talk about next week, was drinking calories. We'll get back to that next week. But... It is something to really, really think about. Like, like, is there any things in your life that you're unhappy with? Do you feel a bit stiff in the morning? Do you feel you're low in energy? Do you have pain in some part of your body? Do you have pain in your knee, in your hip, or somewhere or other? Could that be improved by exercise? Like, we do physical therapy in our facility as well, and I'm not going to say we can fix everyone. That would be a ridiculous statement. But... There are very few exceptions, people whose life we cannot improve. If you're talking about the guy who came into us a few years back and he had chronic pain in his knee. He had not been unable to walk or go through his daily life for over a year and a half or two years without chronic pain in his knee. One of the things we did is, look, we said, physical therapy is one thing for you. But what you actually need is like a rehabilitation program, which is very similar to an exercise training program, just a lot more acutely monitored and progressed. This gent came, stayed with us for about six months. And I think it was within two months, he had his first pain-free day in about a year and a half. Now, if you lived every day in pain, you would understand how big a deal that is. That was quite an amazing moment for us to see this kind of change that we had given to this kind of person. And over the next few months, 
he started to enjoy exercise again and he started to get back to running something he'd done for years and that was something he got by taking a patient methodical approach he also improved his diet he also improved the way he moved and he was able to get back to his life and actually enjoy it now that's an extreme circumstance there's no reason why if you feel like crap all the time you can't improve that our friend Nadolsky once said as well he said I feel crap on the weeks that I don't exercise every other day he said I wonder is that why other people feel crap all the time getting a routine getting something done right in your week is going to make you feel better even just from a head point of view but you are going to move better whether you like it or not throughout the day the movements that you work on in the gym are going to affect everything you do and filter down across and it is a great great improvement to be able to actually go through your day focus have less pain while you're sitting have less fatigue problems have better energy and the most important thing of all is have energy at the end of the day when you go home to play with your kids to be with your loved one I mean is that all you feel you should be doing is going home watching one hour of Game of Thrones and then feeling like crap and going to bed and fine during the week busy week that's going to be it but wouldn't you like some energy to get out at the weekend bring your kids for a walk bring the dogs for a walk go for a cycle do you want to be that person who people are having children later and later in life do you want to be that person who's the father of your 15 year old kid in your 50s and you're not able to swing a hurley around with him that might be a harsh way of saying it but it's true we're having children later and later. In my generation, most of our parents had kids in their 20s. Now it's the 30s. Those people are getting older. Your health is something you have to look after. And it's not about now. You might be 35 or 40 now, and it, you feel like it's under control. Things slip. Things slip quickly. And over the next couple of years, you get to your late 40s, you've been working 60-hour weeks, and all of a sudden, it just seems like there's no time. You can make the time in the beginning. There's nothing wrong with that. It's about a journey. And it's about having something that's going to fit in. And it is something that is going to help you every step of the way. And there is no point in saying, I'll do it next week. You've been saying that for the last three years. It is now November 2018. Is everyone here going to tell me they made the action plan that they said they were going to do for the last three years? I might sound like I'm calling out people here, but sometimes people need a kick, okay? If you're the last three years saying, I'm gonna join the gym and I'm going to lose that weight and I'm going to get healthier, and three years on, you've still not done it, something's going wrong. Maybe you need a different approach. Maybe you need someone beside you. I am a strong believer that you need someone beside you to help you through it. There is no athlete on the world stage who does not have a coach you need someone to hold you accountable doesn't necessarily have to be us doesn't necessarily have to be even a personal trainer it could be as simple as getting one friend of yours that's like john we're going to go for a run twice a week tuesday and thursday morning and we're going to meet and we're going to do it that's what you need sometimes okay just see can you find someone to do that for you? And if you can't find someone, you better find someone and pay them. Because if you're not able to do it yourself and you're not capable of holding yourself accountable, which is 99% of people, it's not a problem, you need to get help. Don't leave it till after Christmas. And that's why I'm saying this now. We've always seen the people who come in our door in November and December they are the people who actually make the biggest changes. They are the people who have decided, screw what everyone else is doing. I need to make a change now for me. And that's what you need to get. That's the mindset you need to have. That you're changing for you, not because it's January. Not because it's a sale. Not because everyone else is doing it. And not because everyone else is talking about it. It's because you want to be healthier and stronger in your day-to-day -day life. Have more energy and get more out of what you should have okay so there you go another long-winded waffly speech we get them every now and again next week though we will be a little more concrete and we are going to be talking about 
drinking calories, which is one of those things that people get caught out with a lot. Okay, so have a think in the next week as well about what are you drinking? Don't be afraid to send me photos. Take care.